math lesson 110. Open your workbook to lesson 110 and find part one. You're going to figure out the average for each problem. Problem A, read the sentence that tells about the line plot. The sentence that tells about the line plot says, this line plot shows the number of people in different minibuses. The numbers show people. Figure out the total for each of the columns that has minibuses. Look at the screen to see the answer. Seven only has one, so there's seven. Eight has three, so there's 24. 10 has one, so there's 10. 12 has two, so there's 24. 15 has one, so it's 15. Now figure out the average for the number of people in each minibus. The total amount of people, all of these, is 80. And you divide by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Divide by however many minibuses there are. There are eight minibuses. 180, or sorry, 80 divided by eight equals 10 people is our average. Our average is 10 people. Make sure you have the unit name people in your answer. Problem B, work the problem and find the average number of coins in each pocket. Pause the video now to do it. The total for coins is 45. You divide it by nine because there's nine pockets. 45 divided by nine equals five. Your average number of coins in each pocket is five coins. You learn the names for these figures. The name for all the figures is quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, right here. The name for B, parallelogram. C, rectangle. D, rhombus. E, square. I'll read them again. Quadrilateral. Parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square. Now open your textbook to lesson 110 and find part one. Here are the names that go in the chart. Let's read these names together. Repeat after me. Parallelogram. Square. Quadrilateral. Rectangle. Rhombus. I'll say them again. Parallelogram. Square. Quadrilateral. Rectangle. Rhombus. Write the names for A through E. Pause the video now to plug them in. Resume when you're ready to check your work. The name for A is quadrilateral. The name for B, parallelogram. The name for C, rectangle. The name for D, rhombus. And the name for E, Square. Make sure you check your spelling on these. Write the answers to questions F through I. Pause the video now to work them. Resume when you're ready to check your work. Question F. What is any rectangle with all sides the same length? Square. G, what is any quadrilateral? What is any quadrilateral 
quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. Parallelogram. H, what is any parallelogram with four 90 degree angles? Rectangle. I, what is any parallelogram with all sides the same length? Rhombus. This question says, what's two thirds of two and a half pounds? What's two thirds of two and one half pounds? Two, two thirds and two and one half is two thirds times two and one half. So the word of in here, think of that as a multiplication symbol. Your equation is two thirds times two and one half. In part A, write the problem and work it. Write the answer as a mixed number with a unit name. Here's how you should set it up and solve. Like I said, turn of into a multiplication symbol. Turn this into a top heavy fraction, like so, because two times two is four plus one is five, so it turns into five halves. You can cross divide to reduce it. Two divided by two, two can go into itself. Two can also go into itself one time. This will be a one, this is a one. Multiply straight across to give you five thirds. Turn it back into a mixed number. Five can go into three one time with two thirds left over. Next, what's five sevenths of three and one fifth gallons? Pause the video now, see if you can set up the problem. What you should have done is turn this into a multiplication symbol. Turn this into a top heavy fraction. Five times three is 15 plus one is 16. So this turns into 16 fifths. Five sevenths times 16 fifths, you can cross divide these two to reduce them to one and one. One times 16 is 16. Seven times one is seven. 16 sevenths, 16 can go into seven two times with two left over with our denominator remaining seven. Don't forget to label. One more. This one, just watch. What's one half of one and three fifths hours? First, turn the of into a multiplication symbol. Turn this into a top heavy fraction. Five times one is five plus three is eight. This turns into eight fifths. So your new equation is one half times eight fifths. You can cross divide these two because both can be divided by eight. By two, two divided by two is one. Eight divided by two is four. So one times four is four. One times five is five. Four fifths hour. Now please find part two in your textbook. You're going to work the multiplication and division problem for this rectangle. You'll figure out the area of the whole rectangle. Write the multiplication for the tens part and the ones part. The multiplication for the tens part is four times 20. The multiplication for the ones part is four times five. So the equation for the tens is four times 20 and for the ones is four times five. Below, write the answers for the tens and ones and figure out the area of the whole rectangle. Four times 20 is 80. Four times five is 20. 80 plus 20 equals 100. Your answer would be 100 square units. Now you'll work the division the fast way. Write the division problem for the whole rectangle. Remember the number of rows tells that you what you divide by. So your equation should be 100 divided by four. 
because there's four rows. 100 divided by 4 equals 25. That's how you check your work. Now find part 3 in your textbook. These problems name two units. Where do you find the unit you should have in your answer? You find your unit that you should have in your answer in the question. The question tells the unit for all the measurements. Problem A, tank X held 12 gallons of oil. Tank Y held 30 pints of oil. How many more pints were there in tank X than tank Y? So you'll want to change 12 gallons into pints because the question's wanting to know pints. Tank X should be converted from 12 gallons to 96 pints. So you work the problem 96 minus 30. So how many more pints were in tank X? 66 pints. Problem B, driveway T was 69 feet long. Driveway R was 12 yards long. How many yards longer was driveway T than driveway R? So once the question is wanting to know yards, however, driveway T is in feet, so you need to convert feet into yards. Pause the video now to work the problem. You should be changing 69 feet into yards. 69 feet converts into 23 yards because you would do 69 divided by 3 because there's 3 feet in 1 yard. Then you work the problem 23 minus 12. So driveway T is 11 yards longer. Problem C. Cindy went hiking for 13 days in May and two weeks in September. How many weeks did she hike in all? So one, May says days. September says weeks. The question wants to know weeks. So we need to convert 13 days into weeks. So you, cheat, you should pause the video now to work the problem. When you're ready, resume. You should have changed 13 days into weeks. 13 days converts into one and six sevenths weeks. So one and six over seven weeks. Then you work the problem one and six sevenths plus two. So she hiked three and six sevenths weeks in all. Now find part four in your textbook. Find the surface area for the rectangular prism. Remember to start with the equation for the surface area. Surface area equals two times the quantity of top plus front plus side. So let's check your work. You figured out the area of three faces. The area for the top is 200, the area for the front is 160, and the area for the right is 80, so the right side. So 200 plus 160 plus 80 equals 440. Then you multiply 440 by 2. So remember, that's on the outside of the parentheses is the 2. So now you multiply 440 times 2. So the area of all six faces is 880, but it's not just 880, it's 880 square inches. So let's focus on some exponents right now. We're going to read these values. A, 12 and 10 to the second. B, 12 Sorry, let's start over. A is 12 times 10 to the second. 
B is 12 times 10 to the third. C is 12 times 10. D is 12 divided by 10 to the second. E is 12 divided by 10 to the third. F is 12 thousandths times 10 to the second. And G is 12 thousandths times 10 to the third. I'll repeat these. A, 12 times 10 to the second. B, 12 times 10 to the third. C, 12 times 10. D, 12 divided by 10 to the second. E, 12 divided by 10 to the third. F, 12 thousandths times 10 to the second. G, 12 thousandths times 10 to the third. This number is 120. One of the operations shown above equals 120. Which operation equals 120? So pop quiz of the day, send me a message on Teams with the answer to this. Say lesson, math lesson 110, exercise seven, answer and tell me is it a b c d e f or g winner will get a special prize moving on We'll skip this one. So find part um, five in your textbook. Part five in your textbook. You'll work these problems independently. You'll change the mixed number into a fraction. Remember to simplify before you multiply. Your independent work begins now. It's textbooks, parts five through 12, no workbook. Get busy.